The film starts with a bodyguard named Michael, lives on with a luxurious life. He was working in a successful London-based security agency. Michael's mission is to safeguard Takeshi, who is an arms dealer, and many needed him killed. Takashi shows up on his plane. Michael says goodbye to Takashi and was very happy that he will be promoted in the security agency. Out of nowhere, a shoot hits Takashi and he dies inside the plane. Michael was stunned by what happened. On the grounds that his opportunities for promotion will diminish in the security agency he works. After two years, when we see Michael, he has another assignment and his mission was to secure a important attorney named Seifert. Seifert was at serious risk and threatened with death. Michael needed to protect him and drive him to Seifert's meeting place. Michael gets the security, however, a gang comes to them and attempts to kill Seifert. We watch Michael fights expertly. Michael wipes out the gang without utilizing any weapons. He can protect the attorney, and he is glad that he will actually be able to return to the security agency. Meanwhile, Djokovic, the vicious president and dictator of Belarus, is being investigated for crimes against humanity at the International Criminal Court. Djokovic knows Professor Asimov, who has a project that conflicts with his interests. This project is a danger to the existence of Djokovic and the government. Djokovic kills the family of Professor Asimov. Yet luckily, the media knows about what happened. Large demonstrations occur, and the case goes to court as we watch Professor Asimov talk about what happened. Djokovic is in court yet, there was no strong evidence against Djokovic. The media started to let individuals know that whoever has proof should present it to the court so Djokovic can be convicted. In the Interpol office, the agents are in a meeting with Darius, who is quite possibly of the most dangerous hired killers, who was working for some time with Djokovic. He killed large numbers of Djokovic's enemies. Darius was captured, yet he didn't admit to Djokovic's crimes. Interpol agents requested that he testify against Djokovic in any of the cases in which he was involved, and consequently, they will let his wife Sonia out of jail. Darius agrees to their offer and let him know that they will transfer him to the court under heavy security so he confesses to what Djokovic has done. Lead by Interpol agent Amelia, Inga is responsible for Darius' transfer. An armed convoy accompanies Darius from the London to the criminal court in The Hague. During the process of transporting him to the court, a vehicle exploded. Darius was in a confrontation, happens between Interpol agents and the gang that attempts to prevent them from going to court. The gang was extremely enormous in number and the Interpol agents couldn't go up against them. All the Interpol agents are killed aside from Amelia and Darius. Amelia and Darius were able to kill all the gang members and get rid of them. Darius tells her that somebody from Interpol informed Djokovic's gang. Amelia takes Darius to a safe place. Amelia figures out how to take him to court and do the assignment we know here that it was Jane who tipped off Djokovic's gang. Jane is the assistant to the president of Interpol. Here we see Jane informing Djokovic of the Interpol team's movements. Realizing that the agency cannot be entrusted with the mission due with a potential leak, Amelia enlists the assistance of Michael, her ex-boyfriend, to accompany and safeguard Darius on the way to The Hague. Amelia threatens Michael to tell Interpol of the operations he was doing if he refuses to help her. To be sure, Michael goes to Amelia. And here we know that the reason for the separation was because of the murder of the arms dealer who was under Michael's protection. We see Amelia treating Darius. She requests that Michael secure Darius until he shows up at court. Amelia goes to tell the Interpol director then. At that point, Djokovic's gang comes and attempts to kill Darius. A fight happens among them and Michael and Darius can kill number them. Then they take a car and escape with it. Michael asks Darius, for what reason you will testify against Djokovic? He let him know that he had made a deal with Interpol for his wife's release. He got to know her after he saved her in a fight he started at a night bar and figured out how to help her. They cherished one another and got married nonetheless. They were arrested on the grounds that they were doing criminal tasks together. They hitch a ride to a ship going to Amsterdam where Sonia is being held 
Darius reveals to Michael that he was the person who killed Takeshi. Michael was protecting. Michael gets angry and hits Darius and lets him know that he needs to protect himself from now on. As Michael assesses his previous mistakes at a beer stand while Djokovic's men assault Darius, Michael felt that Darius was in harm's way. He attempts to help Darius from the gang that is attempting to kill him, and he uses his weapon Darius figures out how to get away from after he takes the boat and escapes, yet the gang caught Michael in the process. They attempt to find out where Darius is. However, he didn't tell them anything despite their beating and torment of him. Suddenly, Darius shows up and figures out how to save Michael. Darius gets some information about Amelia. Michael informs him that he met Amelia at the burial service of an Interpol agent. Amelia was there with the Interpol team to capture the dead agent's brother. A clash happened between the dead agent's brother and Interpol agents. Michael had something to do with the murder, so he was present at the scene, and Michael figured out how to save Amelia in the clash and fell in love with her. Michael tells Darius they need to change the vehicle they're driving so the gang won't find them. The gang still finds them and starts chasing them. Darius hits the brake and Michael leaps out of the car while Darius takes off with the car and the gang begins chasing him. Darius figures out how to destroy the gang's car and escape from them. Michael attempts to escape, however, the gang corners him in the cafe. Darius shows up at Michael and takes him and they escape. They show up at the court barely in time, Darius testifies that Djokovic employed him to kill a political opponent. Darius saw Djokovic carry out a mass execution. He confesses to all the crimes that Djokovic has done, uploaded the massacre photographs to a secret FTP site that he provides to the court. Then, at that point, the judge asks the police arrest him. Out of nowhere, a huge speeding vehicle shows up and explodes in front of the courthouse. We see Djokovic taking the gun from the cop and attempting to kill Darius. But Michael jumps in and saves Darius and the bullet hits him. Injured, he tells Darius to stop Djokovic. In this scene, Amelia attempts to capture Jane, the assistant director of Interpol, since he was the person who was telling Djokovic's gang regarding Interpol's movements. Jane was near killing Amelia. However, Michael figures out how to save her. Darius pursues Djokovic to the rooftop who attempts to escape by the helicopter his men hijacked and was waiting for him. Darius prevents him from boarding the helicopter. He kills the gang, exploding the helicopter, and afterward furiously kicks Djokovic from the rooftop to his death for shooting Michael. We watched the emergency vehicle taking Michael. Darius comes to Michael and says thanks to him since he saved his life. And furthermore, on the grounds that he had the option to get his wife out of jail. Amelia approaches Thank and apologize to Michael. Several months later, he and Sonia celebrate their anniversary in the bar in Honduras, where they initially met. As a wild bar fight breaks out around them, they kiss. Please, like and subscribe. Watch now more of my videos. Thank you!